Hello, I'm Christy O'Brien. Mustering has progressed from horses and motorbikes to planes and helicopters. Now, more changes in the air. An ag tech company in northwest Queensland is hoping to become the first in the world to commercialise livestock mustering with drones. Cairns based reporter Christy Sexton McGrath went bush to meet the founder and grazier who has his eyes in the sky. It's yard work time at Malakoff Station in remote northwest Queensland. Fourth generation grazier Luke Chaplin has a big day of work ahead of him on the family property just outside of Cloncurry. Today he's helping to tag, brand and vaccinate more than a hundred head of cattle. But it's how these cattle were located and mustered across thousands of hectares of land that has the livestock industry excited. Taking off. We've seen aerial mustering since the 70s and obviously from fixed wing aircraft and helicopters to great effect. So that solution is proven and we just see as drones being a, another application of that. When vast cattle enterprises were established around Australia in the 1800s, stockmen relied on horses and skilled dogs to move cattle across large areas. Their expertise were essential to keep cattle safe from predators and ensure they had enough food and water. The Chaplin family have a long and proud history running their Malakoff station, a 30,000 hectare grazing property. They've been here for more than a century. Equipment stored in the old shed, a testament to the many changes over that time. No area more so than mustering. Patrick Chaplin has been managing the family property for nearly 50 years. He's seen those changes firsthand. Well, we used to do it all on horseback, but now I just, yeah, sometimes I'll get a helicopter, but motorbike and horse, mainly. Chasing animals with helicopters and aeroplanes is a distinctly Australian form of aviation, particularly on the huge cattle stations of the north. It's traditionally a resource-heavy operation that also requires a team of ringers on the ground. But Luke Chaplin is off to do it solo today. He saw drone mustering as a solution to the logistical challenges the industry is facing. It came from some of the issues we were having on farm. You know, hard to get labour, quite expensive, the cost of helicopter mustering. And I just saw the range of different, you know, benefits that it could provide. So it sort of started here with my cheap little red drone that I got in Hong Kong that is still out in the paddock um, when I was trying to get some heifers in after the first round of mustering in 2018. Um, and it's just grown since then. Despite the cutting edge technology, the concept uses the same principles of mustering which have been around for centuries. The drone works by being piloted behind a mob of cattle, which sets them in the right direction. Then, once the drone is brought back in front of the animals, it slows them down. So how do you go about mustering stock with a drone? There's a number of different ways, I guess, you can approach the livestock. You can come down and bomb them and then they'll go a million miles an hour. Um, or you can sort of play with them a bit, especially when they're first seeing it. They're quite intrigued, aren't they? Animals are quite intrigued, especially when they're seeing something for the first time. So there's a little bit of massaging that goes on, but if you can get them to move off the pressure of the drone in a calm, responsive manner, um, then you're going to have more luck with them getting them to your desired location. Sky Kelpie has already had some promising results following a trial with Meat and Livestock Australia and Queensland's Department of Agriculture and Fisheries. Luke was able to prove the drones can not only locate the mob, but drive them to where he wants them to be and settle them in the paddock. 
it has the industry body excited. We think about drones as a concept for mustering livestock. We think it's one of these fantastic opportunities to learn from what we know has worked over so many years, so helicopters and on the ground engagement with livestock and also how we understand livestock response to interaction with noise and movement. And we think something like drones are a, a fantastic piece of technology which will provide us with a lot of options in livestock mustering in the future. Powering up. Taking off. It's not just the big end of town that's interested. Luke's been holding drone mustering workshops across the country, spreading the word about the potential game changer. So we do field a few questions about, you know, will the stock desensitise to, to the drone? Will they start to disrespect it? What we've learned is when you put the necessary pressure for them to move off you, um, just releasing that pressure and giving them that reward will keep them uh, responsive. Those in attendance can see the sky's the limit. Oh yeah, I'd give it a go. Yep, yep, yep. I don't know about the technology part of it. It might be a bit hard for me to get my head round, but like as far as uh, I can see it's going to work. Julie McCauley runs a 120,000 hectare beef cattle property near Bullia in central Queensland. She's dropped by to see what the fuss is about. Definitely, I can see it could be um, a lot more efficient, cost effective than um, lapping around with an aeroplane for a long time. Uh, we don't need to use helicopters because of the terrain and um, the layout and the size of our operation, but we do use the fixed wing quite a bit. Livestock agents yeah. are also so interested the in the technology. We, um, you know, I think the, the, the main benefits to start with, not, so, not just the, uh, the mustering, but also the ability to check infrastructure, check waters, uh, check fences, those sorts of things, I think is a, a great way to minimise tyres turn on the ground. Yeah. Luke agrees the on-farm applications for drone technology go far beyond mustering. The benefits you can get from getting an aerial view of the paddock is amazing. I mean, for one, just having all your stock accounted for can have a range of different benefits from fertility to pasture management to supplement management to a range of different things. There's also the ability to work at night, a feat rarely attempted by producers on motorbikes or horseback due to the risk of navigating uneven terrain in the dark. We had a lot of success, so we took it out at 5am, pitch black. Not only could you find the animals all a lot clearer, they really like glow with, with their heat signature, but their situational awareness is quite good as well. So um, a lot of the livestock here and, and where I trialled are sanctuary herding animals, so they go towards their watering point, and they knew exactly where they were going. So I had them all on the water at sunrise, ready to walk to the processing facility. So that'll reduce heat stress on the animals and a range of different things. It's also handy for chasing off nighttime predators. Luke spotted this wild dog stalking a flock of lambs in the middle of the night. And there's the safety benefits. Helicopter mustering is considered one of the nation's most dangerous professions. The Australian Transport Safety Bureau says there have been 133 aerial mustering incidents reported to the body since the start of 2010. 21 people were killed during that time and 22 were seriously injured. CAS are describing the aerial mustering sector in a report as hazard rich due to low-level flying and risks of terrain, trees and power lines. Central Queensland cattleman Alan Acton died in a helicopter crash while mustering on his property west of Rockhampton earlier this year. Mr Acton's nephew, Brent Acton, was also killed in a separate helicopter crash in 2017. He'd been on his way to muster at the Chaplin family property. The use of drones is going to have a range of safety benefits. I think it is going to hopefully decrease the use of four-wheelers and side-by-sides, which is, you know, obviously a big leader of on-farm deaths. Um, but obviously the, the obvious one is getting, you know, manned aviation out of the sky for these practices. Um, we did have a, a family friend who used to come and muster here quite often. Um, he was on his way um, one early morning. Um, and unfortunately had a mechanical error and, um, and passed away on, on the way to coming to muster here. So obviously, you know, devastating for his family, for the community um, and for my family here as well. 
While many in the agricultural sector say there's enormous potential for mustering livestock by drones, there are still significant regulatory hurdles that need to be overcome. There is a landholder exemption for flying drones to muster livestock, which allows producers to fly without a licence. However, they must be able to see the drone at all times, otherwise known 